Here we are with some of the most beautiful puppies in the world. This is Grace and Kevlar's litter. All the reds that you see here are males. So we've got five super chunky males. And we've got one beautiful black female right here. And Thor right here is the only black and rust male from this litter. They turned three weeks old today, and it is time for their first pedicure. So I'll set the camera up and let everybody at home watch. How we do puppy's first pedicure. Hey, sweet pea. Oh, look at this chunky monkey. This is a black and rust female. Deep in slumber. This is her beautiful mother, Grace. Hey, Grace. Hey, come over here, baby. Come over here, sit down by daddy. You want to smile for the camera? <laughs> With regular fingernail clippers like we use, a hook up underneath the nail, glide it along, and you'll feel a little hook at the tip, at the bottom of the nail. That is a perfect sniffing spot to not hurt the puppy. All we're doing right now is mainly knocking off the tip to help mama not get scratched up so much by all these sharp little nails. Oh, somebody's getting fussy. He wants his turn next. So this is the beautiful black and rust female. Hey, babe. Okay, our eyes have just opened, and we're starting to learn how these legs work, and we're exploring around. Come here, Thor. This is Thor. So he's already been reserved, and his owners already have a name picked out for him. He is the only black and rust male, and he is getting his feel from Mama. He's a little roly-poly puppy. you back paw here. I wish Doberman nails were this easy throughout their life. So once they get older we'll change to grinding the nails and continue that on into the adulthood. Oh stretch baby. Did I catch you in a nap? Did I catch you in a nap? Hey it's daddy. Oh look at that big yawn. Big yawn. Here's one of five red and rust males. I don't think you could ask for a healthier litter of puppies. Say seven is a fairly easy managed number by mama. So these babies are not suffering a bit uh, with lack of nutrition. Here within uh, two to three days, we'll start the weaning process, start introducing some soft, moistened kibble to them, and then they'll really flourish. Here's another red and rust male. You can see these little guys are chunks. Hey, baby. Did daddy wake you up? baby's back feet done. You see, doing this method, it only takes a second to do the nails. <clears throat> I do this more for mama comfort than anything. Because these seven puppies, when they're nursing on her, they need and claw and they'll scratch a mama up. Here's the third red and rust male. He doing good puppies. Can't say they particularly enjoy their first pedicure, but they are definitely not too fussy this first go around. 
as long as you continue to do their nails every two to three weeks as they grow <clears throat> they're usually very receptive to this process which makes it easier to do when they're adults by the time they leave sunny hill <clears throat> i will have done their nails uh, at least four times and by the time they leave here they um, using a grinder and keeping them nice rounded and smooth nails so that the first days of puppy play are scratch free oh tell me about it am i talking too much you want to talk well, come over here come over here tell me back home what you think about it say so being a puppy's rough isn't it come on grace get over here in the background come on here, Grace. grace come on now can you give me kisses grace <laughs> Not you puppy, silly. <clears throat> Hang on, little guy. See, I got a squirm worm here. And the very last one. <clears throat> We're going to do the last puppy here. Hang on just a second. Do the last puppy's nails here. And last nail. Yay, puppy pedicures are done. Y'all did a good job. To everybody home say, hope you enjoyed watching. It's one of the behind the scenes of Sunny Hill. Taking care of them puppy nails. Hope everybody's having a great day and we'll talk to you soon.